spring has sprung on Create with Quimby. This morning, our DIY expert is back to help your flowers bloom. Nah, the best part, no planting required for this planter. Look at that. So it is a bottomless flower box. Cool. You don't even have to get your hands all that dirty. Joining us live to walk us through the project is our DIY queen, Shannon Quimby. Good morning. Good morning, you two. How are you? Good. Good. Good Happy morning. spring. Yes. I love all the flowers everywhere. And this is such a cute idea. Yeah, this is, like you said, it's a bottomless planter box. So for those of us who are too lazy to plant or ran out of time to plant or don't have any place to plant, this is a great DIY that we could do. Okay, so yeah, I mean, what okay. makes this, I was going to ask, what makes this bottomless? That's a stupid question because I'm guessing <laughs> it just doesn't have a bottom. But how do you put this together? <laughs> Emily, you're quick this morning. I really appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> So you start with the one by four and you want to cut it up into four pieces, two that are the same size and two that are a little longer because we're, we're making a rectangle. Now I like to do it in a miter cut and a miter cut is a 40, it's a angle cut and this is cut at a 45 degree angle. So you would use a miter saw, AKA chop saw, or you can call Kent down at MLK at Par Lover and he'll hook you up. Okay? Oh, that's right. Your boy Kent. Yep. Get some, get some lumber, get it cut for you. Okay. <laughs> so then after you get them like, you know, to the same size, five and a half on this edge. And the great thing about this DIY is you can make the size however you want. So I'm going five and a half and 11 and a half. So then you take some wood glue and you put some glue on all the corners of each piece, okay? Easy peasy, um, simple, simple. Then you set them up on their sides and you basically start to put together your rectangle like this. It's really important when you do have these cuts, so if you're not comfortable using a um, miter saw, it has to be precise because if not, your rectangle box is not gonna be a rectangle, okay? Uh, uh -huh. Yeah. I would probably so end up cutting a trapezoid on accident, yeah. I think. Your, your, planter romb <laughs> your planter rhombus. Yes, yeah. Get my parallelograms. <laughs> yeah. It'd be a, it'd be a travisozoid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There you go. We're full of puns this morning. <laughs> I know. So here's the box. Then you let it dry. Okay? Okay. So um, I would definitely recommend, since you're going to be using this a lot in different places and so forth, is to reinforce it. So here it is done. And I would pre-drill on the corners to each on, and I would do it on either side like this. Pre-drill and then just kind of put a nail in on the corners, okay? Okay. Yeah. Just because to help it really stay together a little more than mm. just that glue. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and then the, the, even if it's wood glue, if this does go outside, it will get wet and it will fall apart. Okay. So, yeah. So notice um, how crisp and clean this stripe is that I have right here with the paint. Yeah. Yeah, a really good, and once again, I, I don't like to measure, I like to eyeball. I, used, I like to use this um, frog tape, masking tape, and notice the width, it's the same width that I have on the box. So oh, I don't have to Oh, nice. So, yeah, so I literally take the tape and just go all the way around the box around the top edge. Oh, there you and go. Once again, yeah. And once again, this project, you know, you can, you can modify it to however you like, to whatever size, you can use whatever color, but see, there you go. And then I have that same line without having to measure and measure and measure all the way around the box. Uh -huh, That's uh -huh. nice. Yeah. And then, you know, you know me, I'm always want to use what I already have. And so I'm just using some leftover paint and this actually is a new color of my front door, which I love, this pretty blue. So yeah. I have left over. Yeah, isn't that pretty? And then you just paint all the way around the box. And it'll probably take two coats. And then when you let it dry, it's just really simple. You just take the tape right off like this. Whoa. Whoa. Love that. Sharp edges. Yep. Right. That's and then right, you put these ugly plastic pots. It's, once again, you don't want to, you don't have time to plant. Or if you don't have a garden, right? If you don't have a place that you can't put anything, you don't have a planter box, you just 
plop them in like that. Yeah. Ah. I was going to say, this could make a lot of sense if you have like a, a, a townhome or an apartment right. where you, know, you don't have that kind of space. Box. You know, maybe mm -hmm. have a little patio or a balcony. That makes a ton of sense. Good. That's right. Yeah. You can just, you can go when you're done, it could be a, block, a box up on the shelf right behind me on the wall. Oh my oh, gosh, there you Shannon, go. you think of everything. Hey, <laughs> really we're, we're almost out of time, but real quick, did want to mention, you know, you partner with PAR on this, so you're, you're giving away a few of these boxes. Yeah, I'm giving away this one and this one and one more. You can go to PAR Lover's um, Instagram and Facebook page, you guys. It's easy, it's free, and you can walk home with one of these. Awesome, great stuff. Shannon, always good to see you. Thanks for joining us again, and I uh, love the project. Another great one to try at home. You got it. All Have right. fun, guys. Have and a good one. Thank you. And if you want to try making this bottomless flower planter box, we are going to post all those instructions that you just heard from Shannon, including the materials. We'll have that list on coin.com. Very cute. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.